This is the heart. Like other organs of the human body, it is necessary for a healthy life. But did you know that the heart never stopped beating? even during sleep. Perhaps you already knew that, but what about the fact that there is a way to control the heart rate, how many breaths and inhales a person takes each day, and what the capacity of the human stomach is. We will talk about all of this today, so watch this video to the end. Humans have many organs that allow them to life, but today we'll only discuss some of them. Brain the human brain is the organ of the central nervous system, consisting of numerous interconnected nerve cells and their processes. The human brain occupies almost the entire cavity of the cranial part of the skull, the bones of which protect the brain from external mechanical damage. During growth and development, the brain takes the shape of the skull. Various estimates of the number of neurons contained in the human brain are given in the literature. According to some estimates, the adult male brain contains on average 86.1 plus or minus 8.1 billion neurons and 84.6 plus or minus 9.8 billion neuronal cells. In the case, the cerebral cortex contains 19% of neurons. According to other estimates, the human brain contains 90 to 96 billion neurons. The brain consumes 50% of the glucose produced by the liver and entering the blood for nutrition. The adult human brain weighs on average about 1.2 to 1.4 kilograms, or 2.6 to 3.1 pounds, which is about 2% of the total body weight. The human brain is capable of storing a vast amount of information. Some studies suggest that if our brain was a digital storage device, its capacity would be enough to store about 2.5 billion bytes of information. The speed of information transmission in the brain can reach 400 km per hour, or 250 miles per hour. This is much faster than the speed of many cars. Thyroid gland the thyroid gland is a part of the body that produces special chemical substances called hormones, which help control how the body works. They do things like help with growth and development, control how a person uses food for energy, and help keep bones strong. The thyroid gland is located in the neck below the larynx, sort of on the front side of your throat. In humans it looks like a butterfly and sits on top of the thyroid cartilage. Inside the thyroid gland are small areas called follicles, where these hormones are made. Thyroid gland diseases can manifest in three main forms, when it functions normally, when its function is decreased, hypothyroidism, or increased, hypothyroidism or thyrotoxicosis. In some parts of the world there is a deficiency of iodine in the diet, which can lead to a condition called endemic goiter, where the thyroid gland enlarges, and even to creatinism, which can seriously affect people's development. Lungs the lungs are the central organs of the respiratory system in humans and most other animals, including some snails and small number of fish. In mammals and most other vertebrates, the lungs are located near the backbone on either side of the heart. Their function in the respiratory system is to extract oxygen from the air and transfer it into the bloodstream, and to release carbon dioxide from the bloodstream into the atmosphere in a process of gas exchange. The pleurae, which are thin, smooth and moist, serve to reduce friction between the lungs and chest while during breathing, allowing for easy and effortless movement of the lungs. Respiration is driven by different muscular systems in different species. Mammals, reptiles and birds use their different muscles to support and foster breathing. In earlier tetrapods, air was driven into the lungs by the pharyngeal muscle via buccal pumping, a mechanism still seen in amphibians. In humans, the main muscle of respiration that drives breathing is the diaphragm. The lungs also provide airflow that makes vocal sounds including human speech possible. Humans have two lungs, one on the left and one on the right. They are situated within the thoracic cavity of the chest. The right lung is bigger and heavier than the left, which shares space in the chest with the heart. The lungs together weigh approximately 1.3 kilograms, or 2.9 pounds. The lungs are part of the lower respiratory tract that begins at the trachea and branches into the bronchi and bronchioles, and which receive air breathed in via the conducting zone. Blood also plays an important role, bringing oxygen to the lungs and carrying carbon dioxide away from there. An adult human typically takes about 12 to 20 breaths per minute at rest. This means approximately 17,280 to 28,800 breaths per day. Exhalation usually occurs at the same rate as inhalation, so the number of exhalations will be roughly the same. Thus, on average, a person takes about 34,560 to 57,600 breaths in and out per day. Heart. The heart is an organ inside the body that functions as a pump circulating blood throughout the body. All living beings with a developed circulatory system, including humans, have a heart. 
It consists mainly of special muscle tissue and helps circulate blood throughout the body. A human heart typically beats about 72 times per minute and does so approximately 2.5 billion times in a lifetime. The weight of the heart depends on gender. In women, it's usually 250 to 320 grams, or 8.8 .8 to 11.3 ounces. And in men, it's 300 to 360 grams, or 10.6 to 12.7 ounces. The cardiac muscle tissue of mammals lacks the ability to regenerate after injuries. An exception being mammals in the embryonic period capable of organ regeneration within certain limits, unlike the tissues of some fish and amphibians. However, researchers at the Southwestern Medical Center at the University of Texas have shown that the heart of a newborn mouse can still regenerate, while the heart of a seven-old mouse cannot. Do you know a way we can control the speed of our heart? The answer is simple – music. When we listen to music, our heart starts adjusting its beat rate to the rhythm of the music. Thus, if we listen to slow and calm music, our heart slightly slows down, and when listening to fast and energetic music, the heart starts beating faster. The heart also possesses remarkable endurance. It can continue to work and beat even after being removed from the body, thanks to its ability to autonomously engage in decentralized activity. Stomach the stomach is an organ in the upper part of the digestive system in humans and many other animals. It has a complex structure and performs key functions in the process of digesting food. It undergoes chemical breakdown of food due to special enzymes and gastric acid. The stomach is located between the esophagus and the small intestine. Its task is to control the passage of partially digested food into the duodenum through the pyloric sphincter, which acts as a valve. From there, the food moves further into the small intestine for further digestion and absorption of nutrients. The usual volume of an empty stomach is about half a liter, but after eating, it can stretch to one or even five liters. Liver the liver is a large metabolic organ found only in vertebrate animals and performs many vital functions. It helps detoxify the body, produces proteins and other substances necessary for digestion and growth. In humans, it is located in the upper right corner of the abdomen, below the diaphragm and protected by the ribs. In addition to its metabolic functions, the liver plays a role in digestion by producing bile, the fluid that helps break down dietary fat. The gallbladder located in the right lobe of the liver stores and concentrates bile, which is released to aid in digestion. Liver tissue consisting mainly of hepatocytes controls numerous biochemical processes, including the synthesis and breakdown of organic molecules essential for life. It is estimated that the liver has about 500 different functions. Currently, there is no way to fully compensate for the absence of liver function in the long term. Liver dialysis can be used in the short term, but artificial livers that replace the organ in the long term have not yet been developed. Therefore, liver transplantation remains the only option for complete organ failure. Kidneys the kidneys are a pair of reddish-brown bean-shaped organs that filter blood and play a key role in controlling various fluids, electrolytes and removing toxins from the body. They are located in the back of the abdomen, one on each side of the spine, and are connected to the bladder by ureters, which carry urine. The kidneys perform many functions, including filtering blood in the glomeruli, where blood is cleansed of waste and excess. They also participate in regulating the body's fluid volume, maintaining acid-based balance and concentration of various electrolytes. Each kidney contains millions of functional units called nephrons, which play a key role in its function. Chronic kidney disease is recognized as a serious public health problem requiring requiring a comprehensive approach to diagnosis and treatment. In cases of severe kidney failure, dialysis and kidney transplantation may be needed to sustain life. Intestines there are the small and large intestines. The small intestine is a part of the digestive system where the main absorption of nutrients from food occurs. It is located between the stomach and the large intestine, and receives bile and pancreatic juice through the pancreatic duct to aid in digestion. The small intestine is approximately 5.5 meters or 18 feet long, and consists of three main parts. The duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. The duodenum is the shortest part of the small intestine, where the absorption process begins through tiny protrusions called villi. The jejunum specializes in absorbing nutrients through its wall, and the ileum is responsible for absorbing vitamin B12, bile salts, and other substances that were not absorbed in the jejunum. The large intestine is the final part of the digestive system, where the main absorption of water from food residues occurs. It also accumulates waste in the form of phases before removal from the body through the process of defecation. Typically, the large intestine includes the cecum, colon, transverse colon, descending colon, sigmoid colon, and rectum. 
In humans, the large intestine starts in the right iliac region of the pelvis and joins the small intestine at a point called the cecum. It then ascends through the abdominal cavity as the transverse colon, descends down to the rectum and tinal canal. Overall, the large intestine in humans is approximately 1.5 meters or 5 feet long, which accounts for about one-fifth of the entire length of the digestive tract. Urinary bladder the urinary bladder is an organ that serves to store urine from the kidneys before its removal during urination in humans and other vertebrate animals. In mammals, urine enters the bladder through the ureters and exits through the urethra. In humans, the urinary bladder is located in the pelvic area and can stretch. Typically, it can hold between 300 to 500 milliliters of urine before the urge to empty it arises, but it can hold more. The Latin name of the urinary bladder is vesica urinaria, and terms like vesicle or the prefix vesic are used in relation to associated structures such as the venous vessels of the urinary bladder. The modern Latin word from urinary bladder cystis is encountered in related terms, for example cystitis, inflammation of the urinary bladder. Our body is an amazing instrument with numerous fascinating organs, each of which is important and unique. Taking care of it, we find health and harmony. If you want to learn more about any particular organ, just let me know and I'll gladly share more information. Subscribe to the channel if you didn't know something from this video. Watch the video you see on the screen, they're recommended by YouTube. So learn and be happy. Bye!